You are living in a simulation right now. This is actually a high-tech simulated game that you're living in. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to break free from that and unlock the tools that are within you to manifest anything that you want to come into your life. Because if you're reacting to your three-dimensional world as if it's real, then you are going to keep it real and you're not going to be able to unlock the power that you have within you. And the more you understand that you're living in a hologram, a high-tech simulation, the less you're going to react. So just imagine right now, just take what I'm telling you as truth, just for a moment, that your world is a simulation and that it's all being projected from inside of you out based on your imagination and your inner dialogue and what's going on and everything you can send to be true of your world. So knowing this information, why would you react negatively to anything in your world? Why are you getting upset about anything that's happening to you in your world? And if you notice, and you're very present, you will notice glitches in the simulation or glitches in the matrix. Kind of like climbing the ladder to sleep. You picture yourself climbing up and down the ladder as you're falling asleep every single night, or you do this for one to two, three nights, and then all of a sudden you see ladders appearing everywhere. And all of a sudden you're forced to get in these situations where you have to climb ladders just because you had fallen asleep, picturing yourself climbing a ladder in this so-called real world. But really, it's a simulation that's being projected from inside of you. And when you imagine something, or if you're doing something as you're falling asleep at night and you actually are indifferent to the results of it happening, it will be projected and created into your visible world within a matter of time in its own natural way based on what you consent to be true of your world. But why I'm here telling you this is what you consent to be true of your world is what's going to accelerate your manifestation. And when you realize that your world and you experience that your world is just a simulation, it unlocks your potential to manifest things to come into your world, into your visible world, very, very quickly. Because what you consent and believe to be true of your world is going to be projected out. So once you know that your world is a simulation, you're not going to have any beliefs that you need a logical sequence of events for things to happen and wonder how it's going to happen, why it's going to happen, that you have to work so hard for this to happen. And all these things have to happen in order for you to get something. Once you unlock this storehouse within you and you unlock the keys to the matrix by understanding you're living in a simulation, you can actually break free from that. So what I want you to do right now is just take what I'm saying to you as truth. And I want you to take that feeling that your world is a simulation and change what you consent to be true of your world before you fall asleep tonight before you create a new feeling state of something that you desire. So before you visualize, before you affirm, before you script, go into a brief meditation and meditate on the fact that your world is a simulation. And what this will do is it will change what you consent to be true of your world and what you can manifest. Because if you're not able to manifest the things that you want to come into your life, it's because you have blocks based on you believing and consenting to be true that your world is a solid reality and you need all of these other things to happen and wonder how it's going to happen. Why is this going to happen to me? And based on all of your past beliefs, from something that you need to do in order to get something that you desire. But when you go into this meditation, before your visualization or before you go to sleep at night, you can unlock your potential and understanding that you're living in a simulation and that anything is possible to you. And this will also change the way that you react to your three-dimensional world. When you see things happening to you that bother you or you have traumatic events that have happened to you in the past, you start to realize that they're not real. And that why would you be affected by these things today? Why are you allowing these things in the past to affect you today if they never really happened? That the past really isn't real and that you're living in a simulation, something that's being projected from inside of you out. 
And when you can do these meditations and understand that you're living in a simulation, it will affect the way that you react to what has happened to you in the past and what is happening to you in the present. So when you catch yourself reacting to something in the present or in the past, remember that you're living in a simulation and that it's not real and that everything that you need to be focusing on is the feeling of your wish fulfilled and that reacting to other things only recreates those things to happen again in your exterior world, your visible world. Because when you become emotionally charged about something in your simulation, then it will be created again from within you into the future and into the present moment for the future. So remember that as you're reacting to things in the simulation, and that's another sign that it's not real because if you can recreate things in your world just by reacting to them, that tells you that it's not real. Your simulation is not real. And why would you want to experience those things again? Remember that you're living in a simulation and that everything in your world can be much better. It can be the way that you want it to be once you realize this and you start redirecting your focused attention on your wish fulfilled rather than in the past, in the traumatic events, in the things that you're reacting to. Do not react to negative things in your world. Focus on your wish fulfilled. And if you start reacting to things that are happening to you in the present, just remember that you're living in a simulation. And when you react to those, you're recreating those and that everything is happening for your benefit. And when you do this, the simulation will feel that. The simulation feels what you're telling it now, and then it will recreate the world that you want to be living in, the world now that you feel that you're living in, the world now that you aren't reacting to. That's the world that you're going to be living in. And the inception point for this simulation and how it operates is when you fall asleep at night. Who are you when you fall asleep? That's what the simulation reacts to. Because if you are emotionally charged about this concept of self about traumatic events and the things that you reacted to and all the bad things that have happened to you today that is, the simulation has shown you, then you're going to fall asleep with that concept of self and you're going to be doing those things in your imagination. So as we know, just like climbing the ladder to sleep, you're climbing the ladder to sleep every single night and then all of a sudden you're climbing a ladder. Whatever you fall asleep with is going to happen to you tomorrow maybe next week and for the next year to come. So fall asleep every single night as if everything is working out for you beautifully. You can say this, everything is working out for me beautifully. Everything is working out for me perfectly. My life is perfect. Everything is perfect. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it amazing? Capture these feelings as you're falling asleep and do something that makes you feel as if your life is perfect. Start doing something in your imagination, whatever that may be. Do it as you're falling asleep and the simulation is going to emulate that. It's going to create something in your world that is going to make you feel that way. It's going to, it's going to produce that inner feeling that you have in the outside world, something that's going to make you feel that way. And when it happens, you're going to know. You're going to feel everything in my life is perfect because of all of these reasons. In your outside world, your simulation is going to react to what you fall asleep with. So remember that every single night that you fall asleep, because I absolutely want each and every one of you to live the life of your dreams and to create a world that you absolutely love, that you absolutely love because this is the world that you created. This is why you created it. Fall asleep in love with life and everything is working out for you perfectly. All right, I love you and that is the end of this video. I'm gonna put a card on the screen from a sleep meditation that I have created based on this feeling that we've just talked about, about falling asleep in the feeling that everything is working out for you perfectly. And I'm gonna put that card on the screen, so click on that, download that, listen to that whenever you need to, whenever you're, whenever you're reacting to the three-dimensional world and you just don't feel right as you're falling asleep, create that feeling, use that if you need that, 
fall asleep and that will assist you in creating this feeling that everything is working out for you perfectly as you fall asleep and allow the subconscious mind to create that and emulate that into your three-dimensional world. All right, I love you all and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.